Okay, so I'm going to go on with my next question. And my question is, um, have you ever had your ego bruised? Like, you know, you thought you were that, all that. And you found out, ooh, not so much. Um, so has anybody ever had their ego bruised? And then, you know, how did you deal with that? I have. I kept it moving. You just kept it moving. How, how did it happen, Danny? I'm interested to know how somebody could bruise your ego. <sighs> you could try to get open with somebody and you tell, you know, tell people little intimate stuff about you. Mm-hmm. And when they get mad, they flip it and, you know, use that against you. Ah, okay. So. Yeah, that that's that's not very nice. That's not bullshit. But it's okay. I, I have to say, you know, the PG version. That's that's not good. Anson, what about you? Um, yeah, I had my ego bruised before, but I, how I, did it happen? I, what happened? <laughs> oh, come um, on. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's this rare. This is a safe <laughs> space. <laughs> I mean, y'all y'all know I ain't got, I ain't free to say nothing, but uh. I was trying to be TV about it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but um, I, I, I am traditionally, or not traditionally, I am not a minute man. I know that for a fact. Mm-hmm. But for me, when I get woke up out of a deep sleep, I, I'm more You're not standing average. up as straight as you thought that you used to be. Oh no, I'm still trying to stand up. It's just he may not I stand become, up as long. I, I become average. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, like, okay. And I had one. Did one my cousin I was say average? I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> and she, I had one woman I was dealing with, and she, she, she wore that like a badge on, and she woke me up one time, and we had a normal session, and even to this day, she still pointed out to me. I said, shut up. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to hear that. But yeah, my ego was bruised when it came to that. But uh, never again. <laughs> <laughs> never ever again. <laughs> Chocolate Pearl. Mm-hmm. America's girl. Anybody well, bruise that I, ego? Well, I don't recall my ego being bruised because I never really had one. Mm-hmm. But I've I've bruised a few people's egos. Mm. Um, I've I've always been a blunt person. Um, as I got older, my kids said that I'm not as blunt as I used to be, and I oh. softened up. But um, I used to say whatever came out my mouth, I said it. Um, mm. So it did bruise a lot of people's egos. Um, I later found out that I have to um, choose my words wisely mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, speak them in a more uh, subtle way. <laughs> so yeah, I, I bruised a bunch of people's egos. Um, not necessarily intentionally, it's just mm-hmm. you ask me a question, I'm gonna just tell you or you say something or if I think something's wrong, I'm gonna say it. And if, you know, I don't care which, how you feel about it, I just said it, but I have to learn later on that I can't do that. I couldn't, I shouldn't have done that. Um, but uh, a couple of guys I did um, bruise their egos you know they thought they was the you know mm, mm. yeah they thought they were there and and, you know they try to show out and say yeah you hook no no, everybody hook that rod ain't never made it to the water okay Um, but uh, one guy in particular (laughs) One guy in particular, um, I he, I called him a pompous ass. I wow. said, you are a pompous ass and you think you God's gift to this world. I said, but that gift has never been unwrapped. Yeah, and and from that point on, he tried to pursue me and kept trying to pursue me. And we wind up getting together because I realized that he, he was just um, stroking his own ego and thought he was all that, but that's how his personality was and mm-hmm. I think you know to I guess be at a certain level in life he felt that he had to have this big ego and, and I kind of shot him down and, you know that was that okay Dr. Feel Good then Anson then Danny story time uh oh <laughs> 1980, 1983 um, November 
my friends and I decided to go to a roller skating rink, the United States of America in New York City. If you if you were born in New York in the 80s, you know where I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they had they had Brooklyn night, and um, I don't know where I don't know where Chocolate Pearl was, but uh, my sister Tiny went with us. It was me and my crew and Tiny. And needless to say, the, the evening went as a Brooklyn evening would. If you have if you never heard of people from Brooklyn, people in New York. Only one, or only one borough is going to tell you where they're from before they do anything. And that's Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn, son. I'm from, from Brooklyn, son. Brooklyn. BX ain't even that hard, but, but Brooklyn. But anyway, you know, they um, after they shot things up and we came out and we were going home, um, Tiny was about to sit in the seat on, we were on the F train headed back. And it was only one stop because it was 74th of Queens Plaza. Um, putting kind of once he left on the train and Tiny was about to sit down on it and your boy being the gentleman that he was pushed out the way and sat in the seat and little did he know that somebody had um, had regurgitated in the seat yeah yeah so I don't like the ugly and he ain't so my, keen on pretty <laughs> so my ego was like, I, I, and I, I had the nerve to say, you know, I had the nerve to say, you can have to see now. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it was clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had, to, I had to tie my sweater around my waist. And they, they, my people clown me all, and, and Tawana could tell you, it's a walk. It's, it's a walk from the train station back to the projects, about a five, six block walk. Up and down a hill, oh, man. and then them cats. About fifteen no, minutes we, walk. Yeah, no, cause it was about, no, it was about eight blocks because it wasn't Queens Borough Plaza; it was Queens Plaza, which is a little further than, further away from projects. And they clown me all the way from where JetBlue headquarters is right now, all the way back to the projects. Oh wow! <laughs> and, but I, hey, I deserve that. Well, after that, I was. I was humble as a church mouse. <laughs> okay, Anson. Uh, yeah, I, I, it, while y'all was talking, it made me think of something about ego. And, uh, <laughs> throughout my life, I have learned that a lot of women have a huge ego when it comes to them and their sexual activity. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Up until it's time to do something. <laughs> I just want to point that out. <laughs> can you say star? Can you say starfish? <laughs> I, I can say a, a pillow princess. I learned that. <laughs> oh. I learned that from a lesbian woman. <laughs> the term pillow princess. <laughs> okay. Um, Danny, did you have something to say after that? Yeah, I had a, a, a question for Chocolate Pearl. No, a question in the comment for Chocolate Pearl. So, back to this dude that you shut him down, right? <laughs> Killed his ego. And then you got with him? Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. That's what you okay, said. Okay, now this is my question. Because this happens to me all the time. Danny, you think you this, you think you that, you think you that. But then you want me. Why do you want me? Which, what? <laughs> because you uh, think you this, you think you that. Because <laughs> you want to see? Like, why? On my it's defense, is once I, I guess I, once I peeled back that banana, I realized that, you know, or we realized that we were good friends. We actually became friends after that. And then eventually we um, went a little further than that. So it took a couple of years for us to get together. Um, and then we wound up being off and on and all that other crap. But, uh, so yeah, during those years, doing. during those years, you got to know him. Do you think he was still all that? Oh, no, he wasn't all that. But... <laughs> But no, no, he wasn't all that uh, that his ego carried. But um, he was good now. Don't get me wrong. But he wasn't all that that his ego carried. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Well, <laughs> so and, you know, <laughs> we want a man, and I'm saying we. Um, I, I, again, let me just say it doesn't include everyone, but we want a man that's confident, right. but not conceited. Right, and he was conceited, and yeah. he just thought wearing polo and Nikes That's and funny. Levi's and Clark. He thought that he was, you know, the bees, the bees knees type thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I dressed more, 
probably better than you do. And I don't pay as much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I okay. look really good in my my attire and I don't pay as much. But his, his ego was, I have to, you have to know what, what I'm spending. You have to know how much money I make. You have to, that was his conceit of how he would bring a woman in. Mm-hmm. Well, I done well, took you here and I done took you there. I was going to say that's a sign of a person not having anything. Because if you got right. old money and it's planted and grounded, honey, you don't have to flash it. Right. It, it, and, it's and, and that's the thing. Natural. He grew up, I think he grew up where um, he had to, not necessarily struggle, but because he he didn't want to look poor or be poor, he kind of, you know, did things to make sure he had money. Because his mother was like, I can't afford you to get that, so you can't get it. But he wanted it, so he's always worked to get whatever he got but he feels that he has to flash it in, in you know front of people you know his clothes got to be a certain way um he has to spend a certain amount of money and you know how much money he spent on it but it took he said that about to me i don't care. like that's crazy that's yeah great. And, and but you know and danny you know that i don't i don't have step when it comes to my attire um, the people who want on here know, have seen me or know me know that I don't have stuff on my attire. So I try to look good at all times. Um, Going to the but store. I spend a yeah. lot of money on it. It's just, it's the way you carry yourself. And he don't, he didn't understand that. He thinks that mm-hmm. in order for him to be attractive is he has to have all these expensive clothing. Yo, listen, I get dressed and go to the store and match. You so conceited. You did it. What the? That's just me. Right. I don't. I don't get it, man. All right. Let me ask but you another see, question. That's the thing about you. You don't. You don't flaunt how you see. You just let your attire look. But you know that you don't spend all that money, and you don't care if anybody know that you got it off sale. You know. You told us your favorite place is Ross. Ball on a budget. <laughs> Hello. Right. They don't Balling know. on a budget. All right. He would never go question. into Ross. He has to go. Right? His Conceit. sales is going to the outlets. That's his. That's his. You know, going down to being a little cheaper is going into the outlet. But my thing is this: just because um, you you got on these expensive clothing, because I look, I I got Coach, I got Michael Kors, I, I got Nike, I got all this stuff, but I didn't pay a lot of money for it. Exactly. You know, and but he want people to know that he paid a lot of money for it. And to me, that that was conceit. I mean, you were being extremely conceited. Like, but okay. when I realized and I got to know him, I realized he's really not like that. He's, you know, he's like a, a teddy bear with a grizzly bear body, you know? <laughs> All right, conceit. So, Dr. 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 Have you seen the, uh, uh, the ladies' man movie? The ladies' man? I think I have. Anybody seen a ladies' man? Of course. Because I, I dedicated with my cabassier. <laughs> yeah, that, that dude. Now, Dre, do you consider him conceited? He was delusional, but yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was confident as all hell. Oh, yeah, he was confident as hell, too. He said, I, I'm going to walk over there and give and ask the dude she want a fish sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I remember that one. That movie is funny as hell to me, man. He was just confident. But confidence and conceit to me is a little different, I think. Yeah, and it goes back to to me, to I think it was Dawn that said it. Like conceit is being boastful, you right. know. Um, confident, you know, you can be confident and you don't have to tell anybody you're confident. Right, because your confidence will shine just by itself. You, you know, don't have to um, tell anybody you're confident, you know, but when when you have to start telling ego. people, you know, my ego is big, <laughs> you know. Right, exactly. Okay, I'm glad you said that. With him, he felt he needed to tell people, mm-hmm. you know, oh, I, I, I don't go to, you know, the first store. I don't go here. I don't go there. You know, it, it's, you don't have to tell me that. I don't care how you spend right. your money. Now, my aunt... Pam has always told me and my children, and I'm not sure if she told any of my cousins or any of my siblings, but I know she's told my son who owns his own business before the age of 30, spend a little, save a lot. Mm-hmm. 
your aunt used to call me a cheap tight ass. Her, her and oh. her. <laughs> spend, that's right. Spend a little, save a lot. You can. I, I, my, I used to say, my when I was married, my only boyfriend that my husband would allow me to have was Clarence. Okay, so <laughs> I don't need to tell nobody. I worked at Belts part time, and when they stuff went on sale. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was big time money before, but when it came down on that sale price, I was there and got my double discount and all that other good stuff. And I walked out there with Camucho or whatever he's called and all (laughs) them expensive Brahmin. I had all that. Right. (laughs) But I didn't spend a lot of money. Exactly. So, don't you carry yourself. Clearance. Clearance. Oh, like I thought she right. said Clarence. No, I did say Clarence, Clarence, but that's what I called. Clarence. Oh, child, I was trying to figure out who Clarence was. I was thinking Clarence Tom. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. You um, look his number. You was trying to look his number. That's you. No, um, okay. Um, Yvonne, I'm coming to you, dear. So the question, we've been talking about egos tonight. And has your ego ever been bruised, or have you bruised somebody's ego? My ego has been bruised because I'm more of a person that practices humility, but I have bruised some people's egos before. Mm hmm. You want me to elaborate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us oh. about it. <laughs> well, I'm one. <clears throat> I accepted this guy's offer for um, a date in the after cap. And um, he did all this talking about what all he was going to do. And I said, no, no, don't talk about it. Just be about it. And when it came time, it just wasn't what it was. <laughs> and, uh, you know, don't ask me no question unless you want the answer because I'm brutally honest. And so he asked, he said, did you enjoy yourself? And I said, no. Um, Real swing like- boys move in silence. <laughs> I mean, you do have, I mean, they do sometimes, but then some of them do will, will talk and still be slanging. So it kind of go both ways, but however, so I let them know, no, I didn't enjoy that at all. I could have, you know, I did better pleasing myself. Had a rose? Absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) And, uh, I let him you know. Get that you get a rose. You get a rose. Everybody gets a rose. The size of his ego did not match the size of his package. So he needed to, you know, humble himself. So. Mm, mm, okay. 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 That was Anybody some good else? bruising right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, dude, you have a dude, you have a fucking, uh, what you call, <laughs> in the thought in the back of their head when they fit when something like that happens. It's like, tag me in, partner. <laughs> like, like, and then go in. What's wrong with these dudes, man? <laughs> Y'all oh can't my make God. me laugh that hard enough by stitches, man. <laughs> like, how could you perform if she's, she's giving you a hand, hey, hey, whatever? No, you mm. want to go crazy. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like I, there was no it, it, moaning, there was nothing. And so how did you figure you you just put it down? It reminded me of the movie Waiting to Exhale when she said, Hell, I could have had a V8. <laughs> yes. Oh no, nah, he was going, <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, he that way because he was satisfied. He wasn't caring about your satisfaction. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. But Yvonne, I got a question. Did he get his? Of course. Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah, so in the end, in that he word, I, I guess he was listening to Bernie Mac. Sex ain't number 50. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> it's he, he being generous. I, you get five. One, two, five, three, what? four, five, five minutes. Five pumps. Oh. You better get yours within that. That is so see, see that is so ghetto. That that's so why. Ghetto. That's why. That see that part of the family stayed across the water. I don't know which <laughs> that is Those better be the five best pumps of your life. <laughs> well, you better be deep stroking real look, long and hard for look, those five I'm, pumps. I'm, I'm not called Doctor Feel Good because I named myself Doctor Feel Good. I'll leave it at that. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Some of us will have to take your word for it. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Damn Skippy. Okay. Um, I think my question is over. Those five good, but what else? <laughs> who go next, Lord? 
That was too much. Talk to Pearl. Oh, it's my turn. Yes, okay, ma'am. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going Y'all got me. Literally, look, y'all got me literally holding my stomach. I, okay. I know. <laughs> y'all about to make me bust all kinds of uh, stitches and stuff. Oh, and my gosh. Have to <laughs> read <laughs> me. <laughs> um, my question is, does um, ego's, is ego a turn on in a relationship? Depends on what the ego is about. Hmm. Okay. Can you elaborate uh, on that? I mean, because if someone get, it has an ego about, oh, I'm the richest person in the world, that could definitely be a turnoff. Because, like, as I said earlier, nobody cares about how much money you got or how much things cost that you possess. Well, you some know, people that, do like that. Some people do like the fact that, you know, you have this ego. I got this mansion and I got this yacht and I got these well, cars and I got this business. It does well, turn some I'll people off. I'll use that as an example. You know what well, I mean? Well, I'll use that as an example. It depends on what you value and what you don't as a person. Okay. Right. And, 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 and the you know what, though? Anson, Anson, you're right, though. But you know what? What, I, what, I, what I've come to see is that um, women more than men like, like ego because they don't call it ego. They call it swag. Mm. There you go. My hand is down. Absolutely, because I was just about to say that. But no, I mean, I'm, I'm, you're, you're right, Doctor Fab. I, I agree with you. But I'm saying though, a lot of times they can be. There is a difference, but it, it, it can, and, and especially with the younger people, it can be interchangeable. Because, because the way you know, a lot of women are attracted nerves. to way. A lot of a lot of women are attracted. A younger women are attracted to ways a guy moves. Said he got that he got that self confidence. It may be you know some women might be turned off and say oh he got an ego or he conceited, or, or some some see him as look hey I like the way he moved look at he got that he got that swag about him I, that je ne sais quoi I know not what in French for y'all plebeians. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess again, I can all agree to a certain good. degree. It's it's the way that he walks, the way he talks and carry himself. How does he handle a whole room full of people that right. will be like, you know, you can get it, but own that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kay has her hand up. Kay. Hey, good good evening. Good evening. So. I was just gonna wanted to say um, with that, for me, I, I don't like ego. I don't like ego or cockiness. That's a, actually a big turn off for me. But confidence is a big turn on for me. I do like a man who who is confident in themselves um, because I think it's two very different things. Like you said, that ego, um, and I've been and I've been around some that are, they have that ego driven off of like what they have. So if they you know have a good job or, or you know they might be doing good for themselves, nice car, but a lot of times that eat then they have that ego that's just like they all that and this that and other. I I, I don't no that that's a no for me. I like, but I like confidence, but I like somebody who also can be humble. Um, but confidence is a big thing along with, yeah, I, the swag, a little bit of the swag has a lot to do, you know, that's a, that's always a good thing. Okay, well, you know what? You, uh, you said something about cockiness, but Yvonne put in yeah. the chat, cockiness is a turn off for her. Yeah, I, I don't like someone who's cocky. Absorbent is a huge turn off. Yeah, when I say cockiness, I'm, I'm talking about package wise. That's a turn on. So, <laughs> oh, she oh. meant cockiness. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Oh, or she or really meant cocky oh. less. <laughs> cocky less meaning the cocky was less than what they expect. What she expected. <laughs> terrible, okay. terrible, hey, terrible. Douglas. 